All right, in problem number 47, we'd like to find the derivative of h of x is equal to x raised to the power square root of x. We're in a situation again where the power rule's no good because we don't have just a number up here. And the exponential rule is no good because this is not just a constant, it's an x. So we need to transform this thing into a different form before we can start working with it. So the way we're going to do that again is we're going to rewrite this as this is e to the ln of x to the square root of x. So because we know that e to the ln of something is just that thing, so we can rewrite it this way. Now we can pull that square root of x out in front of the ln and rewrite this as e to the square root x ln x. And notice now we have an exponential function. An exponential function I know how to take the derivative of. This form, I don't really know what to do with it. So let's take the derivative of this thing, uh, looking at it as an exponential. So I say h prime of x is equal to uh, e to a power. The first thing I write down is just e to the power. So I, it's e to the square root of x times ln of x times the derivative of square root of x ln of x. But the derivative of square root of x ln of x is the first guy square root x times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x, plus the second guy, which is ln of x, times the derivative of square root of x, which is 1 half x to the minus 1 half. So the derivative of e to the square root of x ln of x is e to the square root of x ln x times the derivative of square root x ln x, which is right here. Now we could clean this up a little bit. Remember that e to the square root x ln x is x to the square root x. So we could write, rewrite this as x to the square root of x times, this is square root x over x, uh, plus, on top here, we have ln x, and on bottom, we have 2, and this is just a square root of x on the bottom. And so this is my derivative.